Leslie here from Happy Doodle and I'm so excited to say that it's time for a new release. We have been getting so much requests for holiday theme products and we are delivering. So this release, we have got some fun holiday theme products, but also some like cute stamp sets that are a little bit holiday themed, but you can absolutely use a lot of the images all year through. We're so excited to share this with you and I hope you'll stick around to watch the video as we show you all the new products and the amazing uh, pro project samples that the design team have made. Also stick around because I'm going to be telling you a little bit later about how you can get your hands on a free stamp and die through our pre-order time frame. All right, grab a cuppa, you're going to want to see this. Okay, let's kickstart this release with some holiday themed products. Here we have the Trim the Tree Stamps and Coordinating Die Set. This is an awesome stamp set. I just love this large tree shape that you can then decorate using the images that come in the stamp set. There's a selection of fairy lights and also garlands. And in addition to this, there are Christmas baubles, a star for the top of the tree, and also some little pots to put your tree into. Next up, we have the Merry Christmas Jumbo Sentiment dies. This has been handwritten by myself and in a fun, whimsical block font, and of course comes with the shadow element too. You can create shaker elements or pop it on your card for a fun, clean and simple look. We also have a sentiment stamp set this year, and this is called the Happy Holidays Sentiment Stamp Set. There is a variety of different sentiments that you'll be able to use for uh, Christmas and holiday seasons. And we have a mixture of block letters and scripty fonts. You're going to be able to use these sentiments both on the outside and on the inside of your cards for lots of versatility. I want to introduce you to the Trendy Tree Angles Stencil. This is a fun geometric stencil that you're going to be able to use to create almost these Christmas tree effects. These pointed triangles just creates a super fun background for your cards. Yeah, sure, it gives the impression of trees, but you can also use it in a variety of different cards for a different fun geometric look. You're definitely going to want to get your hands on this Our Winter Forest Backdrop Die. What a fun A2 backdrop panel. It comes with these little Christmas tree or fir tree designs that will cut through your card and create this gorgeous textured background. There's some stitching and a mitered corners all along the edges and this fits perfectly on an A2 panel. Just look how those trees pop against an inked panel. So beautiful. Here we have the Winter Wishes die set. This is in a block capital letter font and nested the word winter and wishes one on top of the other. Cut it apart for extra versatility. And of course, it comes with a shadow die too. So you can use them separately or together for a different look. Now, heading back to our geometric styles, these are the Stitch Triangle Tree Dies. This little die set will create a collection of gorgeous little triangle trees in a fun geometric style that you'll be able to use on your card. Of course, they are triangles, so you can use them in lots of other fun ways too, not just as creating trees. This little die set packs a lot of punch and I think you're going to be able to create lots of really fun things with it, including banners and pennants galore. Now let me introduce you to the Feeling Mighty Pine stencil. <laughs> I hope you like the name of this as much as you like the stencil design. This has a repeated pattern of two different types of fir or spruce trees and creates a really fun background for that faux pattern paper kind of look. This looks really awesome when foiled. You guys get definitely got to check that one out. 
and I'm so delighted to tell you guys that we have a new pattern paper pad. This is Tinsel Town. This six by six pattern paper pad comes with 24 sheets with 12 coordinating designs in our basics range, which has the polka dots and the tone on tone stripes. We have reds, greens, a darker, deeper burgundy type red, and also a cream color. You're gonna love these for your Christmas and holiday projects, but you're also gonna get a lot of use out of these all year round. To go with our Tinsel Town pattern paper, we have our Tinsel Town coordinating enamel dots. The dots come in this beautiful glossy red, green, burgundy, a darker winter green color, and white. Once again, you can use these for both holiday and non-holiday non themed projects. They're perfect colors. It's going to be a great addition to your stash. Now, what do you get if you mix winter themed projects and four cute little pups? <laughs> That's right. You get this, the Ice Pups stamp set and coordinating dies. These cute little canines are playing hockey on their ice skates. You have four of them in different poses and also a hockey puck, a hockey stick, a goal post, and of course, a couple of sentiments thrown in there too. Why not mask their blades on their boots and add some roller skates to these cute little guys? You're gonna be able to use these little cuties all year round, not just for Christmas. Speaking of Christmas, let me introduce you to the Scripty Merry Christmas Shadow Dies. This is a dainty little die that has the words Merry Christmas and also a coordinating shadow. You can see just how beautiful that looks on a card and you can also add it to other projects. It fits perfectly across the front of our Brook box. Two super fun stencils now. First of all, the Feeling Frosty stencil. This stencil has got a selection of snowflakes and also little circular designs and looks beautiful for creating a snowfall effect, especially using embossing paste or glitter pastes. It's so beautiful. Next up, we have got the Snowstorm stencil. You'll be able to see how delicate this is, but when it's all inked up, it really packs a punch. Look at that gorgeous snowflake background. I think the word snowstorm is the perfect name for this product. You can create that gorgeous faux pattern paper look with this stencil. We recommend using a little spray adhesive to make sure it stays put. <laughs> This stencil also looks beautiful when you emboss it with a tan mat. Just look at the detail in that. Beautiful. Now we couldn't have a release without some interactive kind of dies. So this is the tall snow globe dies. It has three dies which will create this arch style and you can then assemble these together to create a snow globe shaker element. You can actually have a separate base, so that means that you can adjust the height of your snow globe to fit your project. But it's been designed so that it will fit perfectly onto an A2 note card. You can also use the arch to create a fun aperture on other cards like this fun fall card. To go along with this tall snow globe die set, we are introducing the little label sentiment stamps and coordinating dies. This stamp set has got three solid images in different label styles, and then a selection of sentiments that you can add to the bottom of your snow globe die set. But of course you can also use it on a variety of different projects. Use the stamps on its own, or even use the dies on its own for a different look in different projects. So much versatility in just a little package. This one is definitely a craft room staple, I think, a must have. Another must have is our snazzy snowflake dies. 
this collection of dies will create a variety of different beautiful snowflakes that you can then add to your projects in a variety of different ways. Some are more delicate and dainty than others, but each one unique and absolutely stunning. You're going to love these for your Christmas and holiday themed projects. Now it's time to introduce you guys to Fantastic Fur Balls. This is a fun Halloween-y themed stamp set, but also has lots of cute doggies that you're going to be able to use all year round. In this set, we have a duo, which are all dressed up as a ghost and a dinosaur. There's also a cauldron and a pumpkin that you can add your critters to. But in addition to this, we have got two peekaboo dogs, a staffy and a poodle, and a generic standing dog. You're going to be able to use these all year round in a variety of different ways, including in the hot air balloon die set or the close the gate die set. Lots of different options for these cute little canines. And if you like crafting with critters, you're going to love the pretty possum dies. This die set has a larger frame die to create this lovely peekaboo edge and also a selection of two different border dies, paw prints and a line of bones. And also in the die set, we have a beautiful shaker in a paw print style. You can die cut this and use the pieces separately or build it together to create a shaker element. You're going to be able to use this with lots of your projects for your cat themes and dog themes or any other critters. There's also a woof die in this pretty possum set. Now, my favorite season is fall, or as we say over here, autumn. So I'm really excited about this next one, the Stitched Leaves Backdrop. This is an A2 backdrop panel with a gorgeous stitching border and all over the backdrop are these beautiful leaves. It creates a gorgeous falling leaf design, a lovely texture on your cards. You're gonna be able to use this for fall cards, but I think I'm going to be using it all year round. Just that stitching detail adds that little bit of a pop to your background for a really beautiful finish. I know you guys have been asking for mountains, so here's the Alpine Valley die set. It has a die with some mountains and some snow-capped mountain top dies to go on top, and also two pine tree dies, also with a snowy cap, and there's also two dies to create some stars and two little houses with a rectangular die that you can place behind the windows of the houses so that their windows have their lights on. You're gonna be able to use these for creating some gorgeous scenery when building your projects. For our next product, it is the Thinking of You Jumbo Sentiment Dies. This nice chunky die is going to once again be a staple in your craft room for this beautiful sentiment can be used for a variety of different occasions. It comes of course with the coordinating shadow and has been sized perfectly to fit onto your A2 note cards. Next up, I'm really excited about the Camping Critters stamps and coordinating dies. Just look at how cute these little critters are as they toast their marshmallows and cook their sausages on the campfire. There's two raccoons and two little skunks, a tent, a ukulele, and a plethora of different camping accessories, including a lamp, and a map and of course a s'more. <laughs> this set is going to be perfect for creating light up cards with that fire and that lantern image. It's time for more little cute critters and these little foxies are in our mischief makers stamps and die sets. Just look at these adorable little guys with their smiley faces and their mischievous grins. In this stamp set, you have got 
four adult foxes and one little baby fox and also a selection of fun sentiments. There's also two scarf images that you could add to your foxes and some leaf designs, including a pile of leaves for this cute little foxy to jump into. So adorable. Now for the next die, I know you guys have been asking for this. This is the Bonnie Birch Trees backdrop die. This fits perfectly on an A2 panel and creates a background of these beautiful birch trees created in white for a snowy look or in black for a more uh, Halloween-y spooky look or of course you can ink it up in lots of different colors for different styles. This die set also includes two branch dies that you're going to be able to reach for time and time again especially for creating cards with owls and birdies and things like that. Now if you like to create scenes you're going to love this. This is the lovely landscapes stamps. Of course there's dies and there's also a stencil that goes along with this stamp and die combo. This stamp set has got three border images which will enable you to create three different styles of landscapes. There's also three separate stamps of individual trees so you can really beef out your forest with extra stamps and extra trees if you like. The dies will only cut the top half of your lovely landscape and the stencil will lay perfectly on top of those stamped areas so you can create some gorgeous ink blended trees for your projects. This is going to be so handy. And if you like creating little scenes inside the house, then you might like this next stamp set. This is called Fireside Dreams. This stamp set includes a fireplace with a separate fire image and also two adorable dogs which are quite happily snoozing in front of the fireplace. One dog is lying belly up and one all curled up nice and cozy. This stamp set also has other images to help build your scene like a bow, a collection of presents, some candles, a tiny stocking and also a plate with some snacks on it. We also have a few Christmassy themed sentiments in here to help you build your holiday cards. Although I'm definitely using these dogs all year round. I don't know about you. <laughs> They're so cute. Next up, I have another jumbo sentiment die and this is the I Heart You die. I know I'm gonna use this all year round too, but wouldn't that be just perfect for Valentine's Day cards? It comes once again with the shadow and you can also cut it apart as you wish. How about just using the word you or remove the exclamation point or use the heart on its own in a variety of ways. There's so much versatility with these large dies, but I also love how they create a perfect focal element. And now this is the Paws of Love stencil. Perhaps my most favorite stencil in this whole release. <laughs> this stencil has a collection of uh, different size paw prints, but in the middle there is a masked heart design. This means when you ink it up, it creates this gorgeous focal point right in the middle of the card. You can, of course, use the paw print areas to add paw prints to other elements and use this on different cards in a different way too for a fun pattern paper look in the background. And we had to add another die to our collection that says, you are so possum. This is the You Are So Possum shadow die and this block font leans itself to a variety of different styles of cards. You can, of course, also take your scissors and remove the letter P to create a sentiment that says you are so awesome. That gives you a little bit more flexibility and versatility with this die set. Now we've had lots of dogs this release, but we couldn't leave out our kitty lovers. So let me introduce you to Cozy Kitties. This stamp set will also be perfect for helping build a little scene inside your living room. 
because not only do we have three cute little kitty cats, there's also a rug, a clock, a shelf, a TV, a plant, a collection of books, and some other elements too to help you build a gorgeous scene. I love this little kitty cat and this stamp set also has tiny little Christmas hats by special request for some of our design team so we could make these little kitty cats a little more festive. Aren't they the cutest? Now this stencil is so different. It's called the Bits and Bites stencil. It has a selection of these little squares and rectangle shapes and I just love the way when you ink it up in different orientations it creates different looks. Horizontally it almost looks like a brick wall background I think but then vertically I think it looks a little bit like rain. Either way this is a really fun stencil and will create beautiful projects every single time. Now we've had so many cats and dogs and things if we thought it was time to introduce a sentiment stamp set. So this is called the Furry Friend Sentiment Stamps. There's a selection of different sentiments here like thank you for everything, hey how you doing, let's party, <laughs> friends forever, I really dig you and also a fun one that says tell your dog I said hi which you can change to say tell your cat I said hi too. Of course we can't leave out the kitty cat lovers. Next up we have the Hooray Jumbo Sentiment Dies. This is a large die which fills the guts of an A2 note card actually as you can see and it says the word hooray with an exclamation point at the end. It comes with the shadow as well as this handwritten font and it's going to be a fun focal element for birthday cards, celebration cards and more. Now take a look at the Look Who's Talking die set. This die set has lots of speech bubbles, including two large border speech bubble dies, which means you can create really fun cards with your critters talking, especially if you want to create a large sentiment on your card. The selection of smaller speech bubbles can be used with a variety of different sentiment stamps or dies throughout your stash. And there's also a thinking bubble die that comes in this set that you can also probably use as a makeshift cloud die, I think. <laughs> Why not? Now here is the on the edge die set. This set of dies has lots of different border dies to create fun edges for your cards and projects. There's scalloped edges, a mini scalloped, a zigzag or rickrack edge. There's also a decal edge and one that looks like torn paper. There's also a postage edge and a die which creates a rectangular thin strip of paper. You're gonna be able to use these in really fun and clever ways to create wonderful projects. Border dies are always useful. This is another die set you've been asking for, the Imperial Storyboard Backdrop Die. Now this die set is slightly smaller than A2, so creates a beautiful little border around the edge. And it has these five rectangular apertures, so you have these five framed areas. You can of course cut away the inside pieces to create a beautiful stitched frame for more versatility and fun. There's also scalloped rectangle dies on the inside and this is the coordinating metric version. It has been designed to fit perfectly onto an A6 note card but behaves in much the same way in the fact that you can create fun storyboard effect cards with this die set or of course you can use those scalloped rectangle shapes on their own for other projects. Now let me introduce you to Deckled Paper Hugs. This die set has got five nested rectangular dies 
with that fun deckled edge effect on it. In the inside of the die set, we also have a jumbo word saying paper hugs, and it also has the shadow die to coordinate with that. This will create some really fun projects, both together or separately. Now, the last stencil from our collection for this release is the Trio Masquerade stencil. Like our other Masquerade stencils, this stencil has been etched so you can perfectly align your cards, whether it's A6, A2, or five and a half by five and a half. When you ink it up, you'll get three perfectly positioned rectangles that you can then use to help build your card. These masquerade stencils are perfect for creating clean and simple cards. It creates three beautiful focal elements that help build up a scene. I love using them in conjunction with other stencils for a really fun, different kind of look. I'm also delighted to say that we now have Damn Fine Day as part of our catalog. This cute little beaver and his nibbled log is an adorable little two by three stamp set that's going to make it really fun to create some beautiful forest or riverside cards. I love the way the die will die cut his little paws so you can tuck elements right into his hands. So adorable. Okay, it's time to add a little sparkle to your life with our new sparkle mix collections. We have eight this time, starting with Secret Santa. This has the classic reds and greens mixed in with some whites and golds. This is perfect for your Christmas cards, holiday theme cards, but also really fun all year round. Next up, Whipped Cream. This has a selection of opaque and translucent whites and perfect for creating those snowy themed shakers. But the great thing about white is that you can add it to any project. It also includes lots of little gems as do all of our sparkle mix collections. So this one is going to be definitely reached for time and time again. Next up we have Red Velvet. This once again has a selection of opaque and translucent sequins along with some gorgeous gems, this time in red colours. It reminds me of Rudolph's nose or holly berries but will also be perfect, I think, for Valentine's cards or love themed birthday cards, things like that. Really pretty. Next up, let me introduce you to Spearmint. This has a selection of quite metallic aquas and teals and blues. I think this looks like mermaid scales personally, but will be beautiful in a variety of different cards and projects. I think it'll be perfect also for under the sea cards, but winter cards especially, it'll look amazing. There's also some light blue topaz gems in this mix. Next up, Cherry Pie. This sparkle mix has got these pinky purple tones mixed through with some gorgeous golden hues. It really reminds me of the cherry pies my grandmother used to make with the beautiful fruit in the middle and that golden crust on the outside. This is a really fun sparkle mix and really gives off lots of shine. Next up, this is Strawberry Milk. This sparkle mix collection has a variety of beautiful iridescent pinks and opaque pinks in this light sort of pink color. It's really soft and really beautiful and really makes me feel like I'm living my best Barbie life. <laughs> it's just gorgeous, don't you think? Here we have Sugar Plum. Now these also have purple tones mixed in with these golden and pinks and whites, but it's such a beautiful collection that it's going to make you smile. This one was the favorite from our design team and it's not hard to understand why. The mix is really very beautiful. 
And last but not least, Blueberry Jam. This has blues mixed in with purples in a beautiful collection that once again reminds me of that under the sea kind of feeling. It's going to be a wonderful mix that you can add with other colors in your stash, but also works so prettily on its own. I think it looks beautiful with this navy colored backgrounds. So that's the full release. Everything is fully revealed now, and that means that it is pre-order day and that our pre-order session is now open. And the great news for you guys is that during our pre-order period, which is from the 18th to the 25th of September, you can place an order on the Heffy Doodle store, a pre-order, and you will qualify for a free Happy Camper stamp set. If your order is over 45 pounds um, before shipping, then you will also get the dies absolutely free. No code necessary. We will just put the uh, freebies into the qualifying orders. Don't forget to come back over to Heffy Doodle on the 25th of September release day, where you'll be able to see a, an amazing blog hop celebrating our newest release. And there'll be a lot more new projects for you guys to see. The 25th of September is also the day that you'll be able to buy Heffy Doodle new release in your local craft stores. All right, let's get going. There's crafting to be done. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye.